Hey everyone, Joe here. In today's video, I want to show you how you can quickly set your white bounce in DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Win Optimizer 18 is a system optimization suite that takes care of the weak spots in every Windows machine. The program boosts performance, fixes system errors, and reduces file clutter. Don't miss my demo review of Win Optimizer 18. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So I already have DaVinci Resolve Studio opened up, and if you're wondering, the uh, studio version or the normal uh, free version of Resolve, this applies to both, so no need to worry about that. So I am in the color adjustment section, and we can see I have an image opened up here. Now, I have an image just because I took this photo just for the sake of this tutorial. However, this applies to video as well, of course. So anyway, I did have my uh, data color spider checker uh, opened up here. And like I do normally just set the white balance and stuff in my camera. Now, if for example, you messed up and took the wrong color balance like I did on purpose for this uh, to photo here in the tutorial, you'll notice everything here is real too pink and really you know, just very pink, too much tint, uh, pinkish tint to it. So this is very, Often what can accidentally happen if you leave your white balance set, you know, for one thing, go to a different, you know, environment and take photos or a video. And it could potentially be pretty hard to adjust. Now, a lot of people will probably think the first thing to do is go down here to the automatic white balance or grab the little, you know, little eyedropper here and click on it. And, uh, well, that don't look right. As you can tell, the whites turned very yellow. So the gray here did get a little bit better. But everything else is just way off. So let me undo that mistake. And if we click on the little A down here in the bottom of the screen for auto, and we can see pretty much the same thing. Not as bad, but still not correct. Let me undo that one more time. So how do you fix this? Well, there's a few things we need to do first. First thing is you'll probably already have keyframes opened up by default. This seems to be the way it default is when uh, it's shipped. So the first time you open it, it will be keyframes. There is a little uh, histogram looking thing over here, a little graph, click on that. And we want to use the parade here. You got a number of options when waveform, vector scopes. I actually prefer the RGB parade, as you can see here. And that's the one that uh, you need to use for this tutorial. Now, I will just say this one more time, just because I have the little spider checker, you know, a white balance card and stuff, everything here, you don't really need this. What I'm going to show you in this tutorial, you can actually do on pretty much any of a uh, video or photo, if you're editing photo, white balance, for example. Uh, so it doesn't have to have to have a, uh, a white balance card in the actual frame. But anyway, so let's go back over here. we got a color wheels and stuff. And you're probably thinking you can probably adjust, adjust an offset. That can work at times, but not always. And it doesn't actually correct it correctly. So what do we do? Okay, we need to go over here and click on what we call the qualifier. This is another little eyedropper icon. And we need to click on the little uh, gray area here. If you don't have a white bounce card, you really don't need the qualifier. You can use the RGB parade. This just really helps give you an idea of where to get started. Now we do want to use the curves and stuff here. Now by default, this little uh, link is going to be checked and you can uncheck it to unlink uh, everything. So go ahead and uncheck it and you can see the RGB are, you know, are not highlighted anymore. And we'll notice we do have a green, a little white, probably has a little black dot in it by default, a red and a blue dot on here. Okay. So we want to start off with the green first and we want to kind of pull it directly straight up. And we want to be very careful about this because you can uh, mess it up. However, if you do mess up the first time, just go back and retry it. This is a little process does take a little bit to get used to moving without accidentally going too far to left to right as you adjust it. Now I want to bring this up to pretty much uh, 
vertically level with the uh the red here so let's go pull the green up to about right there and that looks pretty decent now notice over here on the rgb parade when we pulled that up the red and the green are now level and you see these two big bright uh blotches right here that's what we do want to uh, look out for to get the best color now we notice the blue over here is really brought up really high and we want to bring that down so let's first go by grabbing the blue here and we want to pull it straight down till it's about even two now here's what a lot of people think this is probably close enough and it is much better however it is still not correct you can tell the white balance on the card and stuff isn't correct notice the rgp uh, parade over here and notice how narrow the blue is compared to the uh, red and the green so we want to go back the other direction and start pulling the blue over to the side here and we'll widen that up a little bit and that looks like about where we want it far as width wise but now that it is uh, wider it did kind of go up a little bit and this could make the image look a little too cool so now we want to bring this down to about right here then adjust it in just a little bit a lot of people kind of prefer the images a little bit cooler anyway but it really depends upon you and this is how to correctly adjust your white balance so yeah this is what you need to do just move your curves and stuff around if you don't have a uh, card like i got in here odds are you can likely adjust it by just uh, looking at the vector scopes you know the rgb parade over on the side so anyway now we got the white balance set and you're ready to go if you find the image is too dark you can grab the white here and kind of bring it up just about something i know what no go no higher than say what the green over here because it's already brought up quite a bit and somewhere about right there to kind of make it a little brighter to make up the difference from bringing down the, uh, the blue so much but now our white balance is pretty much nailed right on so anyway like i said quick easy tutorial on how to correctly do uh, correct your white balance within DaVinci Resolve 16. So if you like this tutorial, you want to see more like it, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up so is highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. It lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.